Shalom. Short section here. Short session. It's kind of a, well, camera oriented thing, but it's a short session. So I guess you can take a break after this and hit the books yourself if you want. But he hath abolished the law of commandments. Hallelujah. They've been contained in mosaic ordinances. They're nailed to the stake to make it himself of twain one new man so making peace that he might reconcile both unto Yahweh in one body by the execution stake. You now can't get around it. Having slain the enmity thereof. Oh, what enmity the law has for us. And if we read the scripture, he hath taken away the law, that law, out of the way. He ended that law. Hallelujah. And he came and proclaimed, Shalom, peace to you that were far off, and those nigh, for in him we have both access by one Spirit unto the Father, one Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the dedicated of the household of Yahweh, the household of faith, built upon the foundation of apostles and prophets, Yahushua Messiah himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a set-apart temple in Yahweh, for in whom also ye are built together for a tab habitation of Elohim through the Spirit. Are we taking advantage of that today? Oh, I pray that we are, because for each day that, that passes by, we miss out that much more. Now, let's look at a body of Scripture, and we're going to, we covered part of this before. Let's cover more now. Romans 8, 16 through 39, if I can talk that fast. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we're the children of Yah. If children, then heirs, heirs of Yah, join heirs with Messiah, if so, that we suffer with him. We may also be esteemed together, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the splendor revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of Yah, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope, expectation." because the creature itself shall also be delivered from the bondage of corruption unto the splendorous liberty of the children of Yah. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now, and not only they, but ourselves also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan with ourselves, waiting for the adoption, that's what we're talking about, adoption election, to wit the redemption of our body. For we are saved by expectation, but expectation that is seen is not expectation. For what a man seeth, what doth he yet hath expectation for? For we, if 